Hello, third grade, and welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 3, Life in Canada. <clears throat> now, for this lesson, the first thing you have to do, of course, is answer your essential question. How does diversity influence culture? What do you think? Now, remember, diversity means to have a lot of differences, so not all the same kind of something. When you have a diverse community, you have people from all over the world. So diversity influence culture. And then for the words to know section, write the number on each line to show how much you know about the meaning of each word. So if it's, if you put a number one next to it, you don't know what the word means. Number two, you know a little bit about it. And number three, you know a lot about it. So your words are bilingual, cuisine, and style. And you're going to see those come up throughout the lesson. Lesson 3. Life in Canada. Essential question. How does diversity influence culture? What do you think? Who are Canadians? The people who live in Canada are called Canadians. Just like you, they are proud of their home. The poem by E.G. Nelson describes what he thinks Canada is like. Quick check. What does this poem tell you about the culture of Canada? There are around 33 million people living in Canada. Native Americans make up over a million of these people. Native Americans lived in Canada for thousands of years before European settlers arrived. Some lived in coastal fishing villages. Others were hunters and gatherers constantly on the move. Still others founded permanent settlements. Some Native Americans even lived in the icy Arctic. They used to build their houses from snow. Today, Native Americans still live throughout the country. But Native Americans aren't the only people living in Canada. Like the United States, Canada is a nation of immigrants. Canada is home to people from Asia, Africa, Latin America, and many other parts of the world. But most of Canada's immigrants came from Europe, especially from France and England. The French settled Canada in the 1600s. For over 200 years, they ruled much of the eastern part of the country. Later, the British gained control of all of Canada. Because of the influence of France and England, many Canadians today are bilingual. That means they speak two languages. Quick check. How are the languages spoken in Canada similar to those spoken in the United States? All right, let's take a minute to think about our essential questions on both pages. So our essential question on this particular page that we just finished uh, is very similar to the question at the bottom of your page where you have to write a written response. How are the languages spoken in Canada similar to those spoken in the Southeast United States? Now, because we know there was a lot of influence from England and France, we know that those cultures and their languages played a big role in those countries. For the first page, uh, the poem by E.G. Nelson, you can go ahead and read that quietly to yourselves, and then write what you think the poem tells you about Canadians, and then write a response. You obviously don't have to share it with a classmate since you're working from home, but make sure you write a com write complete sentences for page 80 and 81. Once you're done with that, we're going to go on pages 82 and 83 about living in Canada. Living in Canada. Canada has welcomed many immigrants to its shores over the years. These immigrants have kept many of the customs of their homelands. These customs are found in different parts of Canada. Let's learn more about some of Canada's cities. Montreal. Montreal has the largest population of French-speaking Canadians. The city is a major center of culture, education, and business. The Museum of Fine Arts is one of the oldest museums in Canada. It includes many paintings and a collection of Native American art. Cirque du Soleil, 
a circus with acrobats instead of animals, began in Montreal. Quick check. What are two of the languages you think are spoken in Montreal? Okay, so stop and think about that section about Montreal. Now, because we know there's a lot of French-speaking individuals there and that France had a large influence over that part of Canada, we know that some of the languages that are going to be spoken in Montreal are going to be English and French because Montreal has the highest number of French-speaking people in it. Why? Quebec. Quebec was the first French settlement in Canada. It was built on the banks of the St. Lawrence River. More than 500,000 people live in Quebec today. The city has a lot of diversity in its food. There is a lot of French cuisine, or style of cooking. There are also cuisines from Africa and Central Europe. During the Winter Carnival, visitors come to Quebec to see giant snow sculptures, take sleigh rides, and visit the Ice Palace, a giant building made entirely of ice. Quick check. What region of the United States do you think Quebec is most like? Why? All right, so we're going to stop and think about our quick check question about what region of the United States Quebec Quebec is most like. Now, based on what we heard about uh, the climate and the geography and the influences, we can guess that Quebec is going to be most like the Midwest section of the United States. Toronto. Toronto has the largest population of all Canadian cities. It has many businesses, theaters, and museums. More than half of the city's residents were born in other countries. This diversity can be seen in the many different types of restaurants throughout the city. The CN Tower in downtown Toronto is the tallest freestanding structure in the Western Hemisphere at 1,815 feet tall. Quick check. What city in the United States do you think is similar to Toronto? Why? Our quick check question here is very similar to the question that we have at the bottom of page 82. It says, how is Toronto similar to cities in the United States? So it's very similar to any major city that we have in the United States. So any city that you list that has a high population, a lot of businesses in it would be appropriate as an answer for the quick check. And how is Toronto similar to cities in the United States? You can definitely pull from your text evidence to explain how the city of Toronto being as busy and, and populated as it is, is similar to cities in the United States. Vancouver. Vancouver is located on Canada's west coast. About one-third of the people living in Vancouver were born in other countries, including Asia and Europe. It has the mildest climate in Canada, which allows for year-round outdoor activities. The port of Vancouver ships more goods than any other port in North America. Quick check. What region of the United States do you think Vancouver most like? Why? All right, so Vancouver so far uh, is most like the region of the, the western region of the United States, which is where we live. So we know that they have mild climates just like we do here. It's on the west coast, which usually creates that more mild atmosphere. Now, for the, uh, for the rest of our quick check question, we know that Vancouver also has a similar geography to the western region of the United States. Ottawa. Ottawa is the capital of Canada. It is located in Ontario, between Toronto and Montreal.
It is the home of the government, as well as many technology businesses. The Rideau Canal is a man-made waterway that connects Ottawa to Lake Ontario. In the winter, a five-mile stretch of the canal becomes the longest maintained skating rink in the world. Quick check. What is one unique characteristic of Ottawa? All right, so one really interesting thing that we learned about Ottawa is that it has the Rideau Canal and people can ice skate on the Rideau Canal in the winter. Now for the bottom part of page 83, it says, how does the United States compare to Canada? Choose one region of to and compare it to Canada in the diagram below. So you'll write, you'll pick the region that you want to talk about and you'll list it the, on the right side of your Venn diagram. You'll write how it's similar to Canada in the section that says both, so right in the middle. And then you'll write things that are separate about them on the outside parts underneath Canada and underneath the region that you selected. Once you've done that, we're going to get into our next page that says things to do in Canada. Things to do in Canada. There is much to see and do in Canada. Citizens and visitors go to plays, museums, sporting events, and celebrations throughout the country. How do Canadians spend their time? The arts and cuisine. Canadian art reflects both European and Native American influences. Many artists are inspired by the landscape of the country. Ontario's Stratford Film Festival is known for its productions of William Shakespeare's plays. Many movies and television shows are filmed in Toronto and Vancouver. The style of traditional Canadian food is very similar to American food. Meat, seafood, fruits, vegetables, and grains are important ingredients. Foods from Europe, the Caribbean, and Asia are also found throughout the country. Many Native American foods, such as pan-fried bread, are also enjoyed by Canadians. Complete the graphic organizer to show the main idea and key details about the types of food found in Canada. Holidays. Canadians celebrate Thanksgiving, much like we do in America. However, their celebration is in October, not November. Canada Day is celebrated on July 1st every year. This holiday celebrates the day Canada became a country in 1868. Okay, so you can go ahead and read through these sections. The recording is a little bit different, but it provides you with extra information, uh, more than what's already listed on your pages. Now, for page 84, you're going to go through and read about traveling through Canada, about the different sports there are in Canada, and I want you to stop and circle the part of Canadian culture that is similar to culture found in the Northeast United States. So in the Northeast, remember, you want to think about Maine and New York and all of those places that are very close to Canada. Circle the things that are the same. And on page 85, before you answer your essential question, I want you to go through the reading skill where we're talking about main idea and key details, just like we talked about in language arts. We're going to underline the key details that explain what type of food or what type of foods are found in Canada. So go through this page and look at the different cuisines, which means the types of food that's found in Canada and underline key details that talk about those foods. Your essential question says, how does diversity influence culture? So now after you've read about all the different influences on Canadian culture, write how that diversity, that that variety of different kinds of people and cultures help to shape Canada's culture. All right, that takes you to the end of this lesson. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day, third grade. Take care, bye-bye.